One of the most difficult part or steps in a research is the selection of a good research title. Good day. This is Dr. Ligardo R. Palaka Jr. And for today's episode, I would be giving you a tutorial on how to select a good research topic. I am a research teacher for the last 15 years, and I am a researcher myself, so I will be speaking with experience. And I hope that for this episode, you would learn a lot from my discussion, and you, this discussion would help you in your quest to provide a good and uh, worthy research. The ability to develop a good research topic is an important skill in research, and it is the starting point of every research. Be aware that this step or the selection of a research topic is not easy. Remember that it must be narrow and focused enough to be interesting, yet broad enough to find adequate information. Research in the senior high school curriculum is always by group. That is why tip number one is to brainstorm for ideas as a group. If a research topic or if a research requirement is a group, you have to join together and try to answer the following questions. First, do you have a strong feeling about social political events in the country? Perhaps you want to know the answer. Second, do you have personal issues, struggles, challenges, and even interests that you would like to know more about? Third, are you interested to in the latest news story that aroused your interest? Fourth, is there an aspect of your major subject that you are more interested in learning more about? Those are the basic questions that you would need to answer when you brainstorm for ideas. Tip number two, select a topic. So after your group consolidated the different information that you gather, this is now the right time to select a topic. So I would like to uh, give my personal experience as a researcher and a research teacher myself. So when you select a research topic, try to get out from over research topics like teenage smoking, early pregnancies, social media addiction, online games, and others. Unless you observe something new that is not yet found by experts. In other words, try to get out from your comfort zone. Then, select at least three topics. Why? Because as you go along the way, you would be eliminating the other two. Don't forget to write down keywords or concepts that may be of interest to you and can be used for further research. And this is really very important when you are selecting a research topic. No matter how intelligent you are, no matter how many awards and recognition you received as a student, don't assume or assume that you know everything. Accept your limitations as a student or a student researcher. Ask for your instructor or for your professor for help for more clarification of the ideas in mind. And most especially if you are stuck with your ideas. Don't limit your possibilities of learning more from others. Okay? So remember that there are certain topics that I mentioned that are not worthy of your time for research. So the next question is what really are the topics not worthy of your research? I will be sharing to you certain tips. First, do not research a topic that is really very obvious, especially those locally confined topics. Second, do not consider very recent topics because the problem here can be a... Uh, lack of resources like scholarly books, journals, and websites for references because the topic or the situation is still new. Third, broadly interconnected or interdisciplinary topics. Why? Because you will be overwhelmed with the different ideas in mind. And the danger here is you would not be able to answer or get into the portion of your investigation. You will be, you will be overwhelmed with the different ideas or even the different interconnections of your study. So limit your study. Fourth, popular people. Why popular people is actually not a good topic for research. What do you think? They're popular. The answer is... These popular people are hard to reach. Let's admit it, they are unreachable. So if you need to uh, book for an appointment, you would be having a difficult time, okay? Tip number three, read general background information. You have to focus your time in looking for information, in looking for sources. So you have to read from different reliable sources, be it books or from the different uh, scholarly websites, articles, and related researches about your topic. Researching is more about 
reading. So you have to invest your time and resources in looking for possible sources of information that would support your studies or your study. So um, this would provide an overview or the necessary overview and how you relate it to your topic. So in this part, you would find related literature and concepts that would give you the possible limitations of your proposed topics. So here you would find relate, uh, related literature and concepts and would give you possible limitations of your study because we have to admit that there is always a limitation in every study and you have to accept it. Then uh, after reading from different sources and from the different information, then it is the time for the group to decide on your final research topic. Again, the tip here is you read a lot. You have to invest your time in reading for possible sources of information that would support your study. Tip number four, focus on your topic. The most important word here is focus. Research involves focus. Keep it manageable, not too narrow, not too broad, and limit your topic. Do not try to look into a topic that would try to solve a major issues or a major problem in a society. So the research in the senior high school would not give you the experience that would really uh, contribute so much to the world. Okay? So the focus, as a teacher, the focus of research in the senior high school curriculum is to expose the students in the world of research that would eventually develop in them certain skills and values that would help them as they go along the way in the educational ladder. Okay, So don't be too ambitious. How you can focus on your topic? First, by geographical area. Would it be as big as Bohol or just a grand city or just a uh, barangay or just a school? Then next is by time frame. So what do you mean by time frame? So in your topic, you would say the focus of my research is the last five years or is it the last two years or is it six months ago? So do not research like 25 years um, or say century. Why? Because you would be having a difficult time looking for resource per or you would be having a difficult time looking for reliable sources of information other than your resource person. So you have to consider the time frame, especially that the uh, time frame in the senior high school is by semester. It is just like five months. Then third is by discipline, okay? So by discipline means you have to focus on a particular major course. So for instance, if your major is ABM, okay? So what is all about ABM that you want to focus? Is it all about marketing? Is it all about, say, uh, pricing? Is it all about, like, um, more on packaging? Okay, so you have to focus by discipline. And then fourth is by population. So we're talking here of your respondents. So is your population composed of teenagers? Is it students only? Or is it like young adult? So what is the age bracket? Is it from 15 to 25? Or is it from 50 to 75? Tip number five, make a list of useful keywords. So what are the keywords? So the keywords refers to the important variables in your topic. For instance, I would give you an example. Children of overseas Filipino workers. So, what word best describe your topic? Is it children? Is it overseas Filipino workers? Or in general, children of overseas Filipino workers? Or can you consider overseas Filipino workers or just Filipino workers? So, what word best describe your topic? Then, use these words when you are ready or when you are browsing the net. So, you just simply type children of overseas Filipinos or impact of result or say impact of having parents living outside the country or something like that. Third is, this is my personal tip, last is prepare note cards, usually index cards. Para saan yung index cards? Okay, so from the word itself, note cards, you would be using it when you are reading information or related studies in connection to your research. So you would with the keywords in mind, you would be able to write important information. So uh, how to uh, do referencing or how to uh, you know, consider points for literature review is a good topic for another episode of our vlog.